Welcome to lecture series on EPG Padasala for Computer Science. In this lecture class, we will be discussing software testing techniques, learning objectives, outline the need for software testing, address how software testing can be used for assessing and improving software quality, explain how test cases can be generated, outline the different testing techniques. We have discussed in unit testing, each module is tested. During design, we follow a divide and conquer strategy, where the software is divided into modules and each module is developed independently. Unit testing techniques are used to test each independent module. The modules which are developed independently have to be integrated and tested. The objective of integration testing is to take unit tested modules and build a program structure based on the prescribed design. Two approaches non-incremental integration testing, incremental integration testing. Non-incremental integration testing commonly called the big bang approach. All components are combined in advance. The entire program is tested as a whole. Here we are using the term component module interchangeably, though they are not the same. The outcome of non-incremental integration testing is KS results. The reason is fault localization is almost impossible. Many unrelated results are encountered. Correction is difficult because isolation of causes are complicated. Once a set of errors are corrected, more errors occur and testing appears to enter an endless loop. Incremental integration testing, three kinds, top down integration, bottom up integration, sandwich integration. The program is constructed and tested in small increments. Errors are easier to isolate and correct. Interfaces are more likely to be tested completely. A systematic test approach is applied. Top down integration modules are integrated by moving downward through the control hierarchy, beginning with the main module. Subordinate modules are incorporated in either a depth first or breadth first fashion. Depth first, all modules on a major control path are integrated. Breadth first, all modules directly subordinate at each level are integrated. Advantages, this approach verifies major control or decision points early in the test process. Disadvantages, steps need to be created to substitute for modules that have not been built or tested yet. This code is later discarded, because steps are used to replace lower level modules, no significant data flow can occur until much later in the integration or testing process. Bottom up integration, integration and testing starts with the most atomic module in the control hierarchy. Advantage, this approach verifies low level data processing early in the 
testing process. Need for stubs is eliminated. Disadvantages, driver modules need to be built to test the lower level modules. This code is later discarded or expanded into a full featured version. Drivers inherently do not contain the complete algorithms that will eventually use the services of the lower level modules. Consequently, testing may be incomplete. Sandwich integration consists of a combination of both top down and bottom up integration occurs both at the higher level modules and also at the lower level modules. Proceeds using functional groups of modules with each group completed before the next. High and low level modules are grouped based on the control and data processing they provide for specific program feature. Integration within the group progresses in alternating steps between the high and low level modules of the group. When integration for a certain functional group is complete, integration and testing moves on to the next group, reaps the advantages of both types of integration while minimizing the need for drivers and steps. Requires a disciplined approach so that integration does not tend towards the big bang scenario. Regression testing. We are aware that the software which is under development or the software which is under maintenance must be evolvable we will be able to incorporate the changing requirements in the software. Requirements change and the changing requirements must be incorporated in the software. So, when a software is operational or once functionalities have been implemented and testing has been done if there is a changing requirement, we go for regression testing. Each new addition or change to the baseline software may cause problems with functions that previously worked flawlessly. I will repeat this is one important point, each new addition or change to baseline software may cause problems with functions that previously worked flawlessly. Regression testing re-executes a small subset of tests that have already been conducted, ensures that changes have not propagated unintended side effects. If the coupling among modules is high, there may be ripple effects. That is the reason we stress on high cohesion and low coupling. Regression testing helps to ensure that changes do not introduce unintended behavior or additional errors, may be done manually or through the use of automated capture or playback tools. Regression test suit contains three different classes of test cases. A representative sample of tests that will exercise all software functions, additional tests that focus on software functions that are likely to be affected by the change, tests that focus on the actual software components that have been changed. Validation testing, validation testing follows integration testing, the distinction between conventional and object oriented software disappears, focuses on user visible actions and user recognizable output from the system. 
demonstrates conformity with requirements designed to ensure that all functional requirements are satisfied, all behavioral characteristics are achieved, all performance requirements are attained. Documentation is correct, usability and other requirements are met, example transportability, compatibility, error recovery, maintainability. After each validation test, the function or performance characteristic conforms to specification and is accepted. A deviation from specification is uncovered and a deficiency list is created. A configuration review or audit ensures that all elements of the software configuration have been properly developed, catalogued and have the necessary detail for entering the support phase of the software life cycle. Alpha testing conducted at the developer site by end users, software is used in a natural setting with developers watching intently, testing is conducted in a controlled environment. Beta testing conducted at end user sites, developers are not generally present, it serves as a live application of the software in an environment that cannot be controlled by the developer. The end user records all problems that are encountered and reports these to the developers at regular intervals. After beta testing is complete, software engineers make software modifications and prepare for release of the software product to the entire customer base. System testing, we have discussed, system testing is concerned with testing software, hardware, servers, database servers, application servers and communication network whether they glue properly or not. We have recovery testing, test for recovery from system faults, forces the software to fail in a variety of ways and verifies that recovery is properly performed. Test reinitialization, checkpointing mechanisms, data recovery and restart for correctness. Security testing verifies that protection mechanisms built into a system will in fact protect it from improper access. Stress testing executes a system in a manner that demands resources in abnormal quantity, frequency or volume. We can state that it is one internal attempt to break the system. Usability testing, usability is a measure of how easy it is to use something, user friendliness. Usability is the extent to which a product can be used by specific users to achieve goals with effectiveness, efficiency and satisfaction in a specified context of use, a means for measuring how well people can use some human made object such as a web page, a computer interface, a document or a device for its intended purpose. It involves carefully creating a scenario or real realistic situation where the person performs a list of tasks using the product being tested while observers watch and take notes. Black box testing, knowing the specified function that the product has been decided to perform, test to see if that function is fully operational and error free. Includes tests that are conducted 
at the software interface. Black box testing is not concerned with internal logic structure of the software. White box testing knowing the internal workings of a product test that all internal operations are performed according to specifications and all internal components have been exercised. Involves tests that concentrate on close examination of procedural detail. White box testing logical paths through the software are tested. Test cases exercise specific sets of conditions and loops. One important difference between black box testing and white box testing is black box testing is not concerned with internal logical structure of the software. Whereas, white box testing is concerned with internal logical structure of the software. That is why we have mentioned involves test that concentrates on close examination of procedural detail. White box testing is testing where we use the information available from the code of the component to generate tests. This information is usually used to achieve coverage in one way or another. For example, code coverage, path coverage, decision coverage. Debugging will always be white box testing is website testing. First, let me tell you what is a website and web portal. A website is a central location of various web pages that are all related and can be accessed by visiting the home page using a browser. A web portal is a customized website that immerses information from a wide array of sources in a consistent and uniformed manner. Website testing is the name given to software testing that focuses on web applications. Complete testing of a web based system before going live can help address issues before the system is revealed to the public. Functionality testing, usability testing, interface testing, compatibility testing, performance testing, security testing. Functionality testing tests for all links in web pages, database connections, forms used for submitting or getting information from user in web pages. We are aware that a web pages may contain hyperlinks, hypertext. So, each hyperlink has to be tested. Usability testing, test for navigation, content checking, other useful information like sitemap. Interface testing, check if all the interaction between these servers are executed and errors are handled properly. Check what happens if user interrupts any transaction in between. Check what happens if connection to the web server is reset in between. Compatibility testing, browser compatibility, operating system compatibility, mobile browsing, printing options. All these have to be considered. Web stress testing, can system sustain in peak load times? How the system reacts to stress and how it recovers from crashes? Basically, we have seen that when you consider a website, 
you have a lot of hyperlinks access to multiple servers so each uh, access has to be tested the results have to be recorded and appropriate action has to be initiated we have discussed uh, unit testing integration testing and other types of testing when you look into a web page you would have integrated data from heterogeneous sources when i mean i have integrated data from heterogeneous sources through a particular web page you may be accessing data that is available in different servers or i can state the web portal may provide you access to multiple servers as an example consider yatra.com through yatra.com you will be able to do flight reservation railway reservation bus reservation reserve hotels so in this context heterogeneous databases are involved and i can state that uh, the transaction involved here is a nested transaction say for example you are booking a flight ticket through yatra.com your airline database will be involved your uh, banker's database will be involved when you talk about a banker's database your payment gateway comes into picture so you can see that you have a lot of heterogeneous sources coming in so as i mentioned the transaction may be a nested transaction so for a transaction to succeed both the databases must be up so testing websites web portals play a major role of course it is a tedious process in unit testing we discussed each module is individually tested integration testing we said modules are integrated and tested of course in website testing too unit testing plays a role integration testing plays a role the difference uh, between testing websites or web portals and customized software products for an organization lies here consider a payroll application for an organization you do not have heterogeneous sources of data coming into picture whereas the example what i have given yatra.com or irctc.co.in you have a lot of heterogeneous sources of data coming in so unit testing will be done for your application program and uh, then integration testing system testing plays a major role here because when you are trying to access a web page or a web portal through your browser it is not the database server alone will play a role or the application server will play a role you have different interconnecting devices as i have mentioned router switches gateways hubs which has to glue together and work together otherwise you may not be in a position to achieve the intended task security testing security scanning and penetration testing security scanning involves identifying network and system weakness and provide solution for reducing these risk penetration testing simulates an attack from a malicious hacker this testing involves analysis of a particular system to check 
for potential vulnerabilities to an external hacking attempt. Ethical hacking unlike, unlike malicious hackers who steal for their own gains, the intent is to expose security flaws in the system. Risk assessment, this testing involves analysis of security risk observed in the website. This testing recommends control and measures to reduce the risk. Summary, software testing plays a major role in developing a quality assured software product. I acknowledge the authors of the books which I have referred and the web resources I have used for this presentation. Thank you.